Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Yazalea and welcome to the CreatorGalaxy.com space station. Here in space we are experimenting with intergalactic filmmaking skills and visual effects. In today's video I will be talking about something really interesting and that is the best free video editors out there right now with no watermark. Because we all hate it when you find that perfect free video editing software, you're starting your entire video, you edit all the way through it, you're spending hours on it and you're so satisfied with the result, you now want to export it and show it to the world and after you export it you realize you have a watermark. We don't want any of that happening so in today's video we are going over all the video editing softwares that I think deserve a mention and I will go over the pros and the cons of each individual video editing software. So I do have to say that I am not biased in this video, I am not sponsored by any brand or anything uh, that allows me to change my judgment, I will try to give my true and honest opinion. Although I must admit that I use a particular video editing software in my workflow, it is a paid version but that is Adobe Premiere Pro and I personally think in my my experience this is the best video editing software out there right now if you're thinking about getting more serious but anyway let's talk about the free ones if you're just getting started or if you just don't want to spend any money on it and the first video editing software that we will talk about is lightworks Lightworks is a very easy to understand video editing software, especially if you are a beginner. It works for both Windows and Mac. You can basically do anything you want with your video if you're just starting out or just experimenting with video editing. I like the interface, it looks intuitive, it supports a lot of video formats, so you can basically import any video or audio file. You can also apply some nice transitions and some overlays and some basic effects in there, so that's really cool. Of course, it will require some time to learn this software software, but eventually I'm sure you will get the hang out of it. The most positive things about this video editor is that it's customizable and it's also lightweight for your device. So if you have a low end machine, I'm sure you will be able to edit your videos on a standard laptop or computer. So you don't need the best specs out there. Obviously the better your specs are, the smoother it will work, but I hear it working fine on some lower end devices. The cons on this video editing software is that you can only export in regular HD, which nowadays you don't really see that much anymore. Nowadays most people are starting to shift into 4K exports, which is Ultra HD, and just before that we have Full HD, and just before that we have Regular HD, and that's what they allow you to export with the free version. Of course they also have a paid version, uh, which is also at a great price, but if you're planning on paying for a video editing software it would not be my personal choice. Because I think if you're paying for a video editing software, you're kind of serious about it and you want to do it more often in the future. And then I think there are better options out there. The second free video editing software I'd like to talk about is Shotcut. Shotcut is a great free video editing software. It's completely open source, so I imagine it's very stable. Although I have heard stories about people making their entire video, saving the project, nothing going on, and then they're opening that project and it's not working anymore and everything is lost. I myself haven't encountered that error, so I just thought of mentioning it. That being said, it has an excellent file format support and a clear and well-designed interface, although it looks kind of old, especially for nowadays. Anyway, it does the job and it gets your videos. The cons on this video editing software is that you will have to figure out how to export your videos yourself with the settings which ones you want to use because it doesn't come with a built-in preset uh, for exporting your videos to different social media for example for YouTube, Instagram story and the different resolutions. These are things you will have to do manually but you can definitely figure out these things using tutorials. So the pros of Shotcut is that it's powerful and feature rich. Again if you have a lower end machine you will be able to run it easily. It has a flexible interface like the previous one, also a wide variety of video formats and audio formats that you can import, which is great if you are using uh, weird devices because most of the cameras nowadays record a standard format which usually gets recognized everywhere, but if you're using something different it might be able to be imported in Shotcut. And it has a large selection of audio and video filters. The cons on this video editing software is that it has a steeper learning curve, so you will need some time to adjust to the interface. The interface is also not very similar to other video editing softwares out there, so if you're going to shift into another video editing software later on, it's going to be a little bit complicated. It's always better to start with something similar to the next video editing software you're planning to upgrade to. 
The third video editing software that I'd like to talk about in this video is a little bit more exciting to be honest and especially if you're uh, kind of looking for a new hobby in uh, video editing and that's HitFilm Express. HitFilm Express is a pretty nice video editing software, especially because it has a lot of options. So they have obviously a free version and also a paid version. The regular HitFilm is the paid version and comes obviously with a lot more features, but even the free version has significantly more features than the other video editing softwares, especially if you want to play around with some effects and visual effects, like if you wanna learn about those, you have to check out our channel. We're all about that. Anyway, you can do some awesome visual effects using the HitFilm Express video editing software. And also important to mention is that it has a big community. So I already see a lot of videos appearing on HitFilm Express on the internet. So you can learn a lot of cool things in there. Also the interface looks very similar to more advanced video editing softwares. It comes like the closest uh, towards like a Premiere Pro, which you can then eventually shift into. So some of the most important features uh, for this video editing software are you have advanced tracking tools, footage distortion. So for example, if you're filming with a fisheye lens, you can correct that on your lens profile. You can also change backdrop. So if you're using a green screen and stuff like that, which is a lot of fun to play with. And if you wanna make your little action movie, uh, you also have these muzzle flashes that come out of shotguns or something like that, which is also nice and advanced lighting effects. You can even import 3D models in their software, which is crazy. Obviously not the most realistic, um, but yeah, you can have a lot of fun with that, especially if you want to learn it. Now let's talk a little bit about the cons for HitFilm Express. First, you have to share a link when you want to download the free version so other people know about it. In my opinion, it's not that big of a deal because obviously they want to get the word out of their video editing software as they've put a lot of time and effort into making it. It also has limited export formats, but if you're uploading for YouTube or anything like that, I think you should be fine. Another thing you can keep in mind is uh, concerning the previous video editing softwares that we talked about is that it might be a little bit harder to load on your machine. You will need a better machine to run HitFilm Express just because it has so much more features than the other ones and you can do these visual effects and stuff. So it's logical that you will need a better machine to run the software. Um, but yeah, it's just important to know that. So now let's talk about the fourth free video editing software, DaVinci Resolve. And this one is pretty special for being free at least because the Vinci Resolve was actually invented to be a Hollywood standard color grading uh, software. So they were used in Hollywood movies to grade your footage. Eventually uh, this kind of rolled into a video editing software and also a paid version of their software. So obviously the free version comes with a little bit more limiting options, but still you can do a lot of video editing, especially if you're just starting out. You will definitely not need all of these advanced uh, tools for the paid version. The paid version is primarily targeted to professionals. The good thing about the software is also the interface. It's very intuitive and it's very close to, for example, a Premiere Pro if you're uh, thinking about upgrading later on. And it's also very similar to just the generic professional video editing softwares as it is also used in the industry. The downside of that is obviously, again, the same problem like HitFilm, you will need a better machine to run it. And I've also heard people running into problems with their video graphic cards uh, from, from their computer being full um, because it's taking a really big toll on your machine. Uh, obviously, I have a pretty decent machine, so I didn't have any problems using it. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely worth taking a look if you're looking for a free video editor and you are thinking about getting professional with this. I think there is a bunch to learn in there and then uh, you can see from there where you'd like to go. So you will need a very powerful computer to work with this. Adding titles and stuff like that is also not super intuitive in my opinion, although I think they're working on that and adding visual effects using their Fusion uh, software, uh, which is a different software but also free, is also very difficult. Anyway, the bottom line of this video, if I personally would have to look back at all these video editing softwares, knowing that I do 
like video editing a lot and especially the visual effects behind it. If I would start out just from scratch and I'm looking for a free alternative, I would probably dive into HitFilm Express. That would be my personal choice. Although DaVinci Resolve is also a very good solution, but then you will have to make sure that you have a very solid machine that you're working on. Anyway, seeing all of these free video editing softwares, I did not change my mind at all about Premiere Pro. It's just so much more intuitive in my opinion. Anyway, if you are thinking about becoming serious with video editing softwares, I still personally love uh, Premiere Pro and I think this is the best video editing software out there, uh, especially for my case. So this is my personal opinion and this is not a sponsored video. I just really enjoy how it works, how I can, uh, without exporting my videos, send my videos over to a different software from the Adobe Suite, like Adobe Photoshop, Adobe After Effects for some crazy titles or effects, or if I want to tweak my audio in a professional manner, I can send it to Adobe Audition. But even in Adobe Premiere Pro, you have a lot of tools that you can use, especially if you want, for example, titles that are already made, you now have essential graphics and you have a lot of exporting options and you have so much more tools. And it's just, it has so many things that I can't even say it in this video. And I definitely don't want this video to be focused on Premiere. I just want to give you some ideas of what you can expect and things like that. There's, there's definitely a lot more to, to say, but I'm kind of holding back a little bit because I don't want this video to be about that software at all. But if you are thinking about moving into that direction, I can highly advise it. And I even have a Premiere Pro course, which takes you from A to Z, completely from beginner to pro level Premiere Pro user. So if you have never uh, edited a video before, you can follow my entire course with a little bit of patience. I can promise you, you will become a professional video editor. Anyway, enough about the course. This video is meant about the free video editing softwares. Definitely let me know which video editing software you use and which one you prefer. Maybe I haven't discussed a free video editor that uh, you are working with or you think is better. Definitely let me know that in the comments below as well. And if you're interested in anything I've discussed in this video, I will link all the video editors in the description below and also the course for those that are interested. Anyway, I really hope to see you in the next videos. Um, maybe you found some inspiration in becoming a video editor and I'll see you in my next upcoming tutorials. Thank you for watching, take care and goodbye.